What is up YouTube? So guess what just came in the mail today? Wait, one second, let me grab one thing first. Uh, this, as you guys may know, is a normal sized lighter, right? Check this out. Look at this thing. Oh my God. This thing like fits my in my whole hand. Like it's insane. Oh yeah. And I also got three of them. This is gonna be a fun video. So of course on this channel, we're definitely gonna have to hack this massive lighter. Um, I already have a few ideas of what this could be useful for and uh, how to utilize its massive size. I don't know if it works exactly like regular lighters do. Um, that's why we're gonna figure it out in this video. And uh, if you wanna get some of these for yourself, I'll link them down in the description below. I think it's like 10 or so dollars for like three of them or something like that. I don't know, honestly, not very expensive at all. Also, because I have three of them, I'll be giving a few of these uh, modified lighters away on my Instagram, so make sure you go follow that in the description. Follow me there and uh, like the picture of uh, me with these insane lighters. And uh, yeah, I'll scroll through the likes, comments, whatever, and uh, pick some winners. Also, thumbs up this video as well. Why not? Let's get into it. Took me like six takes to do. Oh, shit. Alright guys, so we got the lighter disassembled. This is what it looks like on the inside. If we compare this to a regular lighter, it looks like it works exactly the same. So to do the modification of the lighter, uh, all we have to do is take out the fuel restrictor. Um, and if you see this white thing kind of shaking around inside of the lighter, uh, that's actually what we need to get out. And so to do that, it's really simple. All we do is unscrew the tip. So then we uh, take out the tip part. Uh, remember, keep this part, you're gonna need it. Uh, but all we wanna do is just dump out. Uh, there we go. Yeah, this is the piece we want to get rid of. There we go. Now take this tiny piece we just took off, put it back in and screw it down. That's gonna be the basis for our lighter hacks that I'm about to show you. After looking at this thing for a little bit, I realized it's kind of misleading. Um, see, you would think this whole thing is uh, a fuel cartridge, but in reality, uh, the only cartridge part is actually this front. If we grab some butane right here uh, and put it into the lighter and start filling it up, as you can see, the butane is only in this side part right here. Uh, it's not getting in like two thirds of the lighter um, and there's no way to get it in. And actually, on the bottom, you'll see there's some holes into the other sections. So they're not actually being used for pressure at all, which I think is kind of a waste. Uh, but I get it, they like don't want this lighter taking up massive amounts of fuel and possibly exploding because a lot of firepower can be fit inside of here if you use all of this fuel. But uh, that's kind of what I was going for for this video. Oh yeah, also let me show you what this lighter hack that we just did actually uh, will do. So normal lighter, well normal humongous lighter, um, same size flame as a regular lighter, but when we take out the fuel restrictor, we get a massive flame. Now just by looking at this lighter, even one third of the container um, would definitely last longer than this tiny little lighter, but we want more than that. So I'm gonna show you how to modify this uh, super easily to utilize the whole cartridge space. And how we're gonna do that is using some five minute epoxy. Like 
basically all we're doing there is connecting this chamber with this chamber. And then we're gonna do the same thing with this chamber to this chamber. So all three chambers will be connected and then the final step is to put some epoxy into these two bottom holes to plug it all up and uh, make it airtight. There we go guys, so we have the lighter modified right here. So basically all we did was just plugged up the ends right here with a little bit of a five minute epoxy. Not like the prettiest thing, but uh, that's okay because we can just slip back on the case right on over it. So the first hack is just the standard butane giant lighter flamethrower. Very cool, very cool hack indeed. Um, and for those of you who don't know, you can do the exact same hack with the ordinary lighters. Um, so yeah, but compared to this flame we have right here, you can see it's kind of a big step up. Honestly, I'd recommend don't try this hack at all. This video is really just for entertainment purposes. Moving on, the next hack I'm gonna show you guys how to turn our modified lighters into some water guns. you gotta do is just take a syringe or something, um, fill it up with water and just put it inside of the lighter. And add a little bit of a propellant like butane um, just to get the water out. Uh, and then your lighter will shoot out water instead of fire. Uh, pretty cool. So yeah, that's actually a hack I would recommend doing. It's maybe uh, if you have two of these lighters, you use the water one to put out the fire, you're gonna start with the fire one. So if you are gonna do these hacks, make sure to do both of them. So that way you're prepared with your water gun when you set everything on fire. And the last lighter hack I'm gonna show you how to do is turn your lighter into an airsoft gun. But what you're gonna need for this is actually some of this green gas right here. Um, essentially, this is just canned propane um, with some additives to make it not smell. But yeah, basically it's just propane and the difference between this and butane um, is that this is under a much higher pressure, uh, which makes it perfect for propellant, which is why they use it for airsoft guns. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and instead of using butane, we're gonna use this green gas in our lighters instead and just add on a barrel to the lighter, load in some BBs, and then we'll have a makeshift airsoft gun out of a lighter. And keep in mind, you actually can do these with standard lighters. You don't have to use the big ones. I'm just doing it because, uh, you know, bigger is always better. Everything lasts longer, get more fuel. Point is, you don't actually have to do it with big lighters. It's just way cooler.
All right, guys, well, there you go. I really almost hit that. Wait, why aren't the lights on? One second. So there you go, guys. There's a few really cool lighter hacks uh, that you can do with these massive lighters. Once again, links in the description down below. Um, but yeah, remember, you can do these with uh, standard lighters if you don't want to get the big ones. If you did like this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. Honestly, it doesn't even have to be this channel. In general, you know, if you like any YouTubers, it's a good way to catch up on uh, what they're doing. Pretty much all I've got for this video, guys. Definitely gonna be messing around with these in the future. Uh, probably gonna turn these into web shooters. Stay tuned for that, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace out.